little bit better than her. How about that overinflated ego, huh? She what? just wants to do different things. And you do what you're given. My daughter's supposed to be doing her solo this weekend. Why isn't she working with my kid? These kids? A bunch of nobodies. I have two moms on probation and two children on probation. But I don't think they're really equal. I think Jill feels that since she's been doing this for three weeks, that she's ahead of the game and that Peyton is just coming in. But I don't think Leslie realizes that at all. Peyton, I, I really want you to work. You have to get your leaps up there. I'm trying. I know you're trying, but you have to try harder. Listen, this is it. You're getting one shot. If you don't do good today, you're not going to be on the team. I saw the looks that Jill was giving Peyton and I, being that our dressing table was right next to Kendall and Jill's. Um, but that's fine. We can take it all in. Hey, it, it's more competitiveness for us. You've got the performance. You'll beat anybody in the performance. Jill is the new person on the block. So, you know, she's she's got to be worried. She should be worried. OK, now I'm marking it. You forgot it? You're kidding me. Thank gosh we're running through it. Come on, Paige, you want to start with Leslie, were you a dance teacher in your past life? No, why? Because you tell her what to do. She's 14. I'm allowed to no, talk I to my daughter. No, I just think that you're treating her like a baby. I'm and not treating her like a baby. I'm her mother, and she's my daughter, and she's dancing. I'm reiterating what you tell her all the time. If you don't know it yet, you're never going to know it. Got it? Not five minutes before you go on. I don't think it's fair that Abby yells at the parents just because the parents know what to do. Their moms, for a reason, they're helping us. So I don't think that if she's not in the conversation, don't join the conversation. It wasn't meant for you. Let's go. We have to be ready. We're on one number. Let's go. They have to know the number. Why don't you let them finish running it? If it goes on and we miss it, then it doesn't matter if they know it or not. What's the difference? It doesn't make a difference if they go on stage and it doesn't make a difference. And let them get on. Let them run the number. If we don't get there, it doesn't matter if they know it or not. What's the difference? We got to go. Let's go. Every single weekend, it will be fine. You're the new man on the block. I understand. But Don't guess what? Way. Are they going to hold it for us? Probably not for Leslie Ackerman. Maybe for Abby Lee Miller. Okay. Okay. It's my name, my reputation, not yours. It's their names too. Exactly. You keep saying it's only you, but these kids are all the ones on the stage. Right, Christy. They're Abby Lee's kids. But they're Chloe and Mia and Maddie and Peyton. Abby sitting there barking at these girls. It's my name. It's my name. And for God's sakes, we are so tired of hearing it's your name. It's not. When Chloe stands on stage, people are looking at Chloe. When Maddie's on stage, they're looking at Maddie and Mia. Yes, they dance under Abby's studio, but ultimately, they're the ones on stage. Hey, take your money. She just stole Don't you say that to my daughter! Look the way after you act! Be a role model! I am a role model, Abby. You're the worst role model here. This is act number 34, what comes around. <laughs> started, Peyton and Maddie come downstage, and Peyton takes a kick me sign and puts it on her back. Maddie's ponytails were kind of in the way, and Peyton put it up too high. So instead of enjoying the number, we're all looking at Maddie's back to see if the sign's going to stay on. And I was cringing. I'll never be your friend again. to watch these girls dance. I totally enjoy the group numbers. However, this one didn't stick with me too much. It didn't stand out much. The only thing that stood out in my mind was Peyton because she was eight feet taller than all the other kids. And I'm not sure she pulled off the bully role very well. What do you think your critique's gonna be? Look, look. Better than Kendall? I thought she did better than Kendall, too. Thanks. I think you'll be getting that sweatsuit. Peyton, you almost screwed the whole entire dance up with the sign. You can't just like wait, stick whoa, 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 whoa. it. No, no, whoa, whoa, me. You have but to make sure it's on there. Have her daughter's ponytails up high enough. Why are you gonna say Peyton did? It's well, wrong. yeah, but she has to correct what no, she's screwed Abby, up. No, Abby, it starts from the beginning and did it should. Did you say no, Abby? No, Abby. I thought she did fabulous. Right, and you're not a dance teacher. Hey, you tell me how you thought she did. I thought she was okay. I think your turns, suit new, never crossed your thighs once. You need to fix that turnout. I thought that I was better than most of the people for you all You thought you were better than most of the people in this group? Wise. Oh, that's cocky. But that's how I feel, performance-wise. Oh. Mm. 
I was appalled. I cannot believe that a 14-year-old young adult would open her mouth and act like that in a room full of amazing dancers. Did you see everyone else dancing? That's how I felt. Of course she thought she did great. You know, every kid and every dancer that gets out on that stage thinks they are the best dancer. And they think it, they just don't say it. And you know, Peyton being coerced, she said it. We have a really nice camaraderie amongst the girls here, but we don't critique each other. I ask you how you felt about you, not in comparison to everyone else, just about your performance. So everybody was perfect but Peyton? No. You didn't critique one other person? I don't need to. Peyton did for me. <laughs> I don't think there is an apology to give to the group. She said it, it's out there, and it was wrong, and it was bad. It will take years to regain their trust. These are her friends. These are her comrades. This is her team. She shouldn't belittle others. That's my job. Intermediate modern small group. Are you ready? Second place goes to I Love Rock and Roll. Oh, this place is us. Goes to Backpack Girls. Nice job. The group dance also did not win their category. I thought for sure, with the level of difficulty, that they were gonna win that, and they didn't. So either the judges didn't get it, maybe they thought it was inappropriate, I don't know. So, Peyton, how about that overinflated ego, huh? This group's been winning, 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 winning. Do you think they lost because of her? I don't know, I don't know. I'll have to read the judges' comments and listen to the critiques and see what they said. Well, is she gonna be able to dance? with the team again? I don't know. I don't think what she did on stage really is what my concern is. It was coming back to the dressing room and saying that she was fabulous no, and everybody you, else You stuck. know what, you flustered her. She didn't mean it like that. You're, you're talking to a 14 year old. If you want to fight with somebody, then you I fight mean, with me, her mother. I, it's not I about fighting, her. Leslie. If you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. But it's different. People are paying me for my opinion. So you are still on probation. You know, Peyton's sassy little mouth may have just ruined her chances of getting off probation, maybe even getting on this competition team. Abby's really mad at Peyton. Why? Because of the way it came out when Peyton was talking about the rest of the group dance and her performance in comparison to everyone else. I, I will speak for myself. I took it the same way that Abby said it. Wait, wait, and then she apologized and then you're still saying this to me? Um, you didn't let me finish my comment. Well, because I'm pissed off, that's why. Thanks. You don't accept apologies from a 14-year-old? I did accept your apology. Don't have this conversation with me. But Wait, no, no, there's no, no, a lot of enabling no, no, going on. Somebody shut you down, and you can't You're not shutting me down. Yes, yes I, I did. did. Ladies, I'm standing outside with a dance teacher that's a friend of mine, and I can hear every word you're saying. I'm still upset, Abby. I know, but Leslie, you know what? Your daughter's 14 years old. You say that she's a grown-up, she's this, she's that. She has a smart mouth on her. You need to dig your fingernails into her back and tell her to wait. shut her mouth. Okay, stop. Did you not put her on the spot that got her to, to that point where she said something wrong and apologized to you? You did not put her on this team because of her comment. Is that what, that's what I wanted to know. Yes. Then that's a shame. Shame on you, and I hope you've No feel shame on me. Lay your head down on your pillow. Don't shame on me. You're gonna kick her off to the curb? You don't walk into a dressing room with a whole group of people and say, I was fabulous and you all weren't. It's ridiculous. No, you picked, you let her on her You, know what, Leslie, you don't need why. to be here. You said you can find a dance to put her in. I did. If Peyton wouldn't have been in that, that would have been Chloe's fault. Yeah. She came in here and had this snotty little attitude and you back her up. I don't think you guys have to put up with me much longer. I'll be gone. This will be it. Mackenzie, you are doing a solo. It's called A Perfect Day in the Sun. Chloe, you will be doing another contemporary lyrical routine entitled Ghost. And Paige, you have a solo also. Kendall, you will be doing a solo. The name of your solo is Kiss Kiss. Nia, we're changing it up again for you. You're gonna be doing a 60s inspired number. And Brooke, you're gonna to have to get your butt up in the air. The name of your solo is Fly. So all of your aerial work needs to be in there. 
I see Melissa out of the corner of my eye going, Maddie, get your hand out. Maddie, get your hand, raise your hand. Melissa, butt out. Do I have a solo? I know darn well that Maddie is one of the strongest dancers on my team and that she should be doing a solo. But you know what? I can't give her one. Maddie, I'm not hurting your feelings. She has to want it. Maddie has to come to me and beg for that solo back. But I have a bunch of other kids that want to do solos. She wants to do a solo very bad. I understand that, but you interrupted her and wanted her not to do it because you were afraid of losing all your friends. It was really hard to see Maddie's face. I'm the one that didn't let her do a solo a few weeks ago. I was gonna tell you're doing a solo and you're not. And I'm not trying to speak for my children, but it's very hard when you see your child cry. Maddie, toughen up. You're gonna go to an audition and not get picked someday. Get it? And you need to stand there with a smile on your face. Everything for nationals rests on how they perform this week. And I, at this point, I feel so sad for Maddie because she's upset that she doesn't have a solo. And then she's dealing with like Abby's pent up frustrations that she's no longer her favorite. All right, moms, you're dismissed. Ladies, spread apart. Let's start warming up. So, what's up with you? I really didn't do a solo this week. I feel like every time I do a solo, I feel more happier. And you threw that all away. I wanted you to do a solo to freak out justice, and I think you should have done it for me. And you know what? I feel like I'm giving you an opportunity, and you're crapping all over me. You need to tell me why you should be doing a solo. I'm the only one that doesn't have a solo this week, so. That's not a reason. It has to come from here, Maddie. You have to want it. I don't want to see Maddie upset, but I have to teach Maddie a lesson. It shouldn't come so easy. You have to want it like everybody else. You have to work on it like everybody else. And you have to go out there and prove yourself just like everybody else. I want you to want it. This week is very important. I'm making my decision on who gets to dance at nationals. So these girls need to bring everything they have and impress me with their solos. I really wanted to do a solo this week because of the competition and because we're in LA and I just love doing solos. All right, well, if you love doing solos, then whenever you're offered one, you should jump at the opportunity because it's not gonna always come by. I can tell Maddie really wants a solo and I think she's learned her lesson. So it's time to put this kid back in the game. Maddie, you haven't had a solo in weeks. So this is your big chance to show me that you still have the ambition. I'm so glad Miss Abby gave me a solo because I think that I really deserved it and I don't want to let her down. Turn your knees out when you land that on a shot. You're not stepping on a turned out foot. Wing your back foot in the attitude. You are rusty, kid. I always expected that Maddie would have a solo going into nationals. I knew she was going to have a solo. As yeah. Whether she took off two weeks, five weeks, I don't 10 want my kids to go to nationals. I think the most telling thing in there when she was yelling at Maddie that she was rusty after three weeks. Hello, you none of the other kids ever dance. It proved our point. You only get better by having more practice on stage. I think I'm ready to pull off a solo, but I need to show Miss Abby that I did deserve it. Okay, stand up. You wanted this solo, you got it. Maddie, you and Nia are up next. You haven't done a solo in, what, three weeks now? Are you gonna get out there and choke? Or are you gonna be average? Or are you gonna be exceptional? Exceptional. Let's hope. I need to show Abby that she made the right choice to give me this solo. And next to the intensity stage is act number 52. Put your hands together for Maddie performing Peace of My Heart.
I think this was Maddie's best routine she's ever done. I mean, ever. Maddie's routine was close to perfection. Ladies and gentlemen, your highest scoring elite junior soloist with a score of 273.7 points is Miss Maddie with act number 52, Peace of My Heart. So Maddie placed first. I was so proud of her. And, you know, she learned her dance in one day. And, you know, she worked her butt off so she can win. This weekend, we are traveling to Detroit, Michigan. So we're going to energy dance competition? You know, you know who lives in Detroit, in Michigan. Ava and her mom, Jeanette. I already know she's doing it solo. It's on Facebook. She's going to be better. She's going to be bigger. She's going to be more fabulous. Jeanette and Ava were kicked off the select ensemble. I was never told she was cut. You're cut. Is that clear enough for you? Our kids do have a target on their back. Jeanette sees that target, and she's shooting for it. She owns her own studio. She has trained her daughter. This can't be good. Kalani, you're doing a solo. You earned it. Ava and her mother, Jeanette, are going to be at the competition. She wanted to be on this team, and I pretty much just dismissed her and her daughter, Ava. So now they're out for revenge. Oh, I bet you she's had her solo for nine months. Oh, she could do a solo for three years, and Kalani will we'll still beat her. Right. Come on, let's go. I want to use the word exotic, like another form of life. We don't know if you're a star from the galaxy that's come to life. We, we don't know yet. So that's why you need to kind of be a mystery. Smile on that. And ending and up. And look, just look back and look at each judge as you go off. All right, OK, you go grab a drink. OK, we're good. Girls, stand in front. Moms, come on. Lo and behold, stalker and her posse. None of them have I ever seen before. These kids, a bunch of nobodies. Don't say a word. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to Michigan. Hi, welcome to Michigan. Nice for you to join oh, us. Okay. There's a storm coming. I am appalled. I didn't expect the silence. I expected all the girls to do what they normally do, jump up, run over, and give Ava a hug. Like, nobody said anything. Nobody said hello. Very, very different. And um, I don't really understand why. I want to go in and shake her hand and say, listen, I don't want this between her and I. So why don't we go see Abby? Hey, Abby, listen, I don't so, want, I you don't know what? want. You shouldn't be in here. And I'm, don't, I don't care what you want. It's not about what you want. I, I don't know who you are, but you shouldn't be in this dressing room. I brought her in here with me. I know, but why are you in here? You're I in this school here. suddenly? Right. You didn't ask. I, you didn't say, excuse matter. me, Abby, could I speak to you? Here's you the just, thing. I want, I, I want, I want. I came I want in here to be a good sport. So I'm going to be a good sport. Go. And I am going to leave. Because I did the you're right thing by coming sport, in here. You're not a good sport, and you're a nervous wreck when you speak. And it's obvious. I'm a nervous wreck? Good luck. Well, so, if you knew anything about show business, you would you're know gonna, not to say good luck. I can say good luck, break a leg. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does matter. You get asked out, I get asked back. Go, stalker. And your jacket should be longer than your shirt. Kalani is going up against Stalker's daughter, Eva. I know she will win. She is the strongest dancer on this team. Kalani is Abby's new star. Focus on your solos. I'm staying back here. I never go backstage. But in this situation, I don't trust the Stalker woman that's here. I want to keep an eye on what's going on. If this competition would ever get started, and this is nuts. We thank you for your patience. I'm going to stick my head out. Let's go. Delay of game. Come on. We, we have all day to be here. Was she young? But you, I think so. Was she, she, she was just trying to say you up. You came with that heaven because oh my gosh, she just like because she knows because she knows you're a really 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 good dancer. All right, judges. We are moving on to entry number twenty-two. Entry number twenty-two. Please give it up for Ava performing on my way. 
Who can say where this route will take me? What's around the bend is a mystery. I always choose the path less taken. You can tell me to change direction. Say it's all for my own protection. But if I fall down. She looks like a prey manis. Judges, we are gonna go to entry number 21. Please welcome to the stage Kalani performing Dance in the Shadow. Abby, why were you backstage trying to get in my daughter's face? Kind of curious. Oh my god. Get there and tell her. Go, 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 go. Do you stay away you from Ava? Bold face lying. I was 60 I'm feet not. away from your You're kid. right across the stage. That is low. Lower than I thought get you could have. Get mine, sweetheart. Do not come and correct anything about her. Abby's gonna get what she deserves. She's made a big mistake, and I'm coming after her. Gina, I'm I want to talk to you because um, I'm putting a complaint in about her. Stalker accused me of throwing this kid off her performance, of saying something to her. I was minding my own business. I love all kids. I'm great with kids. I love kids. And I don't understand how that gets so flipped around. Don't even get me started. Abby. Gina comes into the dressing room, and I'm like, oh, geez. You know, I think Jeanette is trying to get us disqualified. You can't go backstage when another group is dancing and intimidate anyone. How dare you speak to me that way? How dare you? Well, I, I have been teaching for 33 years. I've been teaching longer than you. Right, but who do you have on Broadway? Nobody, kiddo. <sighs> oh, my god. I'm just here to have your back about what happened backstage. With LA only three weeks away, this is the last thing we need right now. Jeanette wants to drag Abby through the mud. It's just another ridiculous situation we have to overcome to keep our team afloat. Why are you telling Ava when she needs to go and when she doesn't? I wasn't speaking to her when she was she dressing her. She talking to me and looked no. behind her and you said yes. It sounds like they were making assumptions. It's ironic. I went back there to make sure nothing was going wrong with my kids. This is it Sounds like it's more of a miscommunication is what I think. Whenever your kid jumped up to make excuses for that performance, so be it. Don't flatter yourself, Abby. Her kid better not beat either one of my kids. Watch out. Fourth place. Entry number 21. Dance in the Shadow, Kehlani. I'm completely shocked that Kehlani placed fourth overall. Who paid off these judges? And the third highest solo today. Entry number 
22, My Own Way, Ava. Third place, The Stalker's Kid. Look at this, look, look at this competition! It's a joke! Yeah, how did Ava beat Kalani? This is rigged, and I will say that. Gina does not have this competition rigged. I do not think there's a setup. She wants to blame everyone else. Abby, be accountable for yourself. Now, I'm not saying that the judges aren't qualified. I think they're wonderful. I don't even know who they are. I didn't get programmed, didn't get anything. But what I think is that she's doing the tabulating. OK, you look like an idiot. I would stop. You're creating excuses to protect Maddie's and Kalani's reputations because those kids matter because those are the only ones who are going to work and book jobs anyway. That's bull. I didn't say it. You did. That's bull. You said it. I did not say that. This one. You need to be a grown woman and own your words. I, I own my words. Watch Jolene in that heel on that jeté. Smile. This week, Chloe and Maddie both have new solos. Maddie will be doing an emotional lyrical routine to cry, and Chloe will be doing a musical theater number to Baby Mine. Again, you're not landing a plie, plie. I dance seven days a week from 4 o'clock to 10 o'clock. And we don't get home until, like, 11.45. Don't bounce in that split. Plie. Chloe is my biggest competitor. I think I'm a little bit better than her because I've, I've won many awards than her. My daughter's supposed to be doing her solo this weekend. Uh, why isn't she working with my kid? Why is she in there doing this? Is this competing? Her last name isn't Ziegler. Maddie's been in class this week working on her solo, and you know it's perfected and it's wonderful and perfect. And then she's going to send my daughter out on stage, kind of looking like a fool. I am really nervous that maybe I won't hit all the turns and remember the choreography. I'm just, I feel kind of pressured. A lot of times I feel compared to Maddie, but I think it's unfair because we're different people, so we shouldn't be compared. When I'm dancing, it should be about me, and then when Maddie's dancing, it should be about Maddie. And next up, just number 107.5, Bowie Lukasiak, Baby Mine. me when I'm dancing at a competition because I'm not sure if they're good or not. And I kind of, I don't know, I just kind of get really nervous. Since I have smiled And me 
Who's so well versed Is at a loss for words And I I'm so proud of Maddie. I can't help but cry. She's like a little angel. Oh, I'm so low. I'm almost to the bottom. Oh, nowhere to go. Even my soul has left my body. And I. evaluate Chloe and Maddie's performance, it was neck and neck. They both did an outstanding job today. They came ready to perform and ready to compete, and that's what they did. And your first place is... Maddie came out on top. I expect nothing less. It takes time and energy and perseverance, and the kid has it. I'm so proud of you, baby. Yes. Yes. Another win. Yes. Abby. Hey, can I talk to you real quick before you go in? Yeah, I, yeah. You know what, Lily, when she first came to, like she was seven, she was little, she was doing lots of acro, cutesy type dances. Winning. 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 But Please remember that she's 10. She's doing a lot of ballet, point, technique. That's what she's working on. Lily started out on the mini team, and they were benched half the time. Then she was invited to be part of the elite team, but she still barely danced. So three seasons later, we're here, and Lily is the only returning dancer. The first thing she gets is an immature acro trio. Lily deserves more than this. Stacey, it's the first week. I know, but she's older, she's done different stuff, and it went to this. You can't control my choreography. I don't get it, lady. Your kid is in a trio, she's featured, she's in the front, she's in the middle. She probably is my favorite right now, and you're making me want to hate you. Now, I was talking to Stacey, Lily's mom, and I thought we were all good, and apparently she said that you don't want to be in an acrobatic routine. And she said, I did a lot of acrobatic dances, and I've done, like, a bunch of ballet, and I just wanted to show you, like, the ballet I've done. Go back to ballet school. Show them. Go. So we should do a duet with these two. And I said, I just have been practicing a lot in ballet, and I really wanted to show you that. And she said, well, go show your ballet school, and then just say, like, get out. OK. I know. Really like it anyway. I know. She didn't come back to still be seven years old. She's 10. Everybody else gets to grow up except for her. And now she can't do normal stuff because she's little. <laughs> So she's going to be a clown for the rest of her life. Put it this way, is it more difficult to take her out of it or just leave her in it? I think I should just make her do it. Lily, you're doing the dance. Come on, back in. Go. It's a lose-lose situation. Obviously, Lily's got a history with Abby and, and the team. I mean, I thought the whole point of coming back was for a fresh start. I mean, obviously for us, right, but for but you does too. Does that erase like... your memory? She doesn't want to go backwards. She doesn't... Nobody does. Stacy thinks Lily's too good to do acro. And if that's the case, then why are you here? Why are you here coming back and complaining? Be happy that your kid has a trio. Everything's all fresh for you, but we have history. There's like a lot of baggage. You guys don't know what it was like before. First up, two trios. I need you guys makeup, 
Your hair's done. This is it. There's no turning back now. It is so important that these kids win today. You know that saying, dance like nobody's watching? No. Dance like everybody's watching. Sarah, where's your spacing? Woo, I just saw a big mistake. Regardless of whether I want Lily doing acro all the time or not, right now, this acro trio does not look stage ready. I have really mixed feelings waiting for Lily to come out. I haven't seen her dance for the ALDC in two years. So I'm excited to see her doing it, but at the same time, I definitely wasn't hoping to see her come out in a trio in a clown costume doing acro tricks. All right, next up for our duet trios, we have from Abby Lee Dance Company, The Favorite. up a little bit, and so I'm a little nervous that our trio is going to get yelled at by Abby. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Well, Lily, what happened out there? Something happened. When I did my side aerial, I stumbled when I landed. And then you went right into the forward, to the switch, or to the walk over up. I didn't want to make it too obvious that I fell. I'm a bit disappointed with Lily. She was amazing the last time we were doing the competition circuit. And now, she slips in the number, she's too fast, she rushes the whole end of the piece. I mean, I just had more faith in her. She let me down. All right, we're gonna start out with the top three junior duet trios. Third place. The favorite. It's Liliana Presley and Sarah from Abby Lee Dance Company. I'm shocked that the favorite got third. Three little girls doing an aerial walkover at the end of a really difficult routine? It's not the way I had it. Abby, Lily's never gotten third with your acro dances before. Do you think that it was the age category? I don't know, but I'm thrilled about the group. I really am. John, I think we... Abby, we... I mean, this is the first time Lily's gotten third with anything. And it was the week that I said, I don't, I don't know about the acro anymore. You don't know about a lot of things anymore. And you probably never did. I don't tell you how to do your job. And don't tell me how to do mine. She can do the acro, but she doesn't have to do acro dances every week. She doesn't have to do any dances every week. She can leave tonight. Is that what you she want? She just wants to do different things. And you do what you're given. And you keep your mouth shut and you smile. But at the same time, you like to win. You always want to win, and it didn't win. Well, I don't know what to tell you. You, you sound like someone that's making excuses for their child. What do you mean she excuses? I win. was complaining before, like the first day. I, I know, but you're complaining and it's nonsense. So I just don't want her to be like pigeonholed, like she can only do acro, or she has to do acro because she can't dance. It's fine to incorporate. I'm just saying. Don't tell me what's I'm fine for my... to do in my routines with my name. It's fine to do whatever I want to do, and I will do whatever I want to do. So keep pushing the envelope. And you'll be in a unitard with your face painted, walking on your hands for two minutes and 30 seconds, or sitting in the audience while everybody else has a solo. Because I don't want to deal with it. I had to deal with 
guards in prison. I had to deal with emergency surgery for eight hours. I had to deal with being paralyzed from the neck down. I don't need to deal with some unhappy disgruntled mother about an acro solo, for God's sakes. Those days are over, Stacy. Over. All right, let's get out of those costumes. Let's move. Just do it. Look. She's not. Yes, she is. She's doing everything. I'm never going to do anything. She's not. She's mad at me, not you. Yeah, she's mad at you. She's not going to give me anything because she's mad at you and she doesn't want to deal with you. 